I'm Dr. Richard Abbey. I show parents of children suffering from ADHD what to do so their children don't have to suffer anymore. And today I'm going to talk about the root causes of your child's pain and suffering with ADHD. So you'll know what to do, you'll get into action, and your child doesn't have to suffer anymore and they can be as successful as you know that they can be. And so how do you do this? The first thing to know is that ADHD is not just like it's a disease or something like that. It is a very big issue and it's a neuroanatomical issue. In particular, it's an issue of neurodevelopment. The research is clear and many people agree. There's a consensus that ADHD is actually a problem of brain maturity. And in particular, it's a brain maturity problem in the frontal lobes. That's why you get these associated executive function difficulties. That's why it's an attention regulation problem. And so if you can think of it that way and kind of come to terms with that, the real issue is that your child's brain is immature and it's not gonna catch up. Well, it can catch up if you do some things with it, but let's get to the first issue. And so the first issue is that your child's brain is immature relative to their peers in these areas in the frontal lobes that are responsible for things like attention regulation and executive functions. So if we know that to be true and you do a thought experiment, a 20 year old would be more like the maturity in the attention and executive functions than actually some aspect of emotional functioning or a 12 year old might be more like a five year old. So if we can conceptualize it that way, now we can actually understand better what is the root cause of these pains and difficulties. Can you imagine being a child, being your child, and you're trying to get things done, and guess what? They're working harder than anybody else trying to get this stuff done. And they're getting all these negative messages that they're not trying hard enough, if only they could push themselves and be more motivated, and why are you checking your email and on YouTube and everything? It's so difficult for them to regulate their attention on things that are not intrinsically interesting to them because of their brain immaturity, not because they're lazy, not because they don't want to succeed, because they actually can't. Now this can be very confusing because, you know, why can my child play video games for hours? Well, they're being bombarded. They're getting this immediate reward loop, this feedback loop of, you just blew something up or you just won that this particular thing. It grabs their attention because they're getting this immediate feedback loop. But that's not how education works. That's not how the workforce works. And so what are we gonna do about that? Probably the best solution is to find a solution that would mature our child's brains. So if we can find a solution to do just that, then we win. Then we win for life because they can actually have a different brain. They don't need us as their executive function system anymore. They can actually do exponentially better. And you can actually do that through various forms of brain training. So brain training, what is that? You have cognitive skills based training. Generally that's done one-on-one -on -one with a trainer or with a computerized system. That has to be intensive. That has to be adaptable. So it gets more difficult as they get better and the duration has to be long enough. The way to make that even more effective is to improve your child's brain at the level of the neuron. Improve the neuronal functioning, the communication between the neurons and speed up the timing. And guess what? What are you doing there? You're actually improving, you're maturing the child's brain. So you can do this and you can rapidly grow your child's brain. And I mean relatively rapidly, right? So, you know, in four to six months, you can actually provide your child this exponential growth and so they actually get better and they do better. This system, the most powerful system to do that is called neurofeedback. So neurofeedback has been around since the 1960s. That's amazing. And over the years, supercomputers and software and hardware, things have gotten a lot better. Here's the amazing thing. We can actually break down your child's brain and look at the power, the energy, right? And the connectivity. And we can also look at the speed of neurotransmission. And we don't have to guess anymore. We can actually see what's causing them to have such difficulty processing information, things that 
you know, everybody finds it hard, but they find it impossible. They're getting yelled at and made fun of, and they're falling behind on their work, and they just can't seem to, like, make the grade or turn the paper in or do the homework. This is super painful for your child. All they want to do is please you and please their teachers and do well, and they just can't seem to do it. And if this goes on long enough, the super unfortunate thing is they start to get anxious, they start to get depressed, they feel like they can't get anything done. A whole slew of problems happen. Now you're looking at self-esteem problems, but if you turn this around early enough, if you provide fertilizer for their brain, so to speak, and grow those parts of their brain, you actually improve that maturity, accelerate that maturity, so it's exponentially faster. You can not only catch them up, but through techniques, brain training techniques that exist today, you can actually surpass the normative average, or at least catch them up to their own abilities. And when you do that, they don't need medication. They don't need tutors. They don't need you on top of them. They come home, they do their homework independently. They have free time so they can do the things with their friends and the sports activities that they love to do. And they can just be themselves. And you can watch them grow and flourish and blossom like you knew they could. It all has to do with this immaturity of the brain. What are you gonna do about that? It's called stagnation. It is the inability for your child to keep up with the maturity of that part of their brain. There's techniques to make it grow faster. The earlier, the better. If we get a five-year-old, eight-year-old, 10-year-old before they're in junior high or high school, before they've missed all that information, before they've been through this lifetime of struggles, getting all these negative feedbacks, turns out they're not anxious, they're not depressed, they don't abuse substances, they actually fulfill their dreams and their future is not limited. So it's super important. What have we identified? The core, the root problem, immaturity of the brain. And now that you're armed with that knowledge, what can you do about it? Mature the brain. I'm talking about systems and brain training that are very powerful. If these are in line with what you want, you need to find a center, and that center that does neurofeedback, that does brain training, can help your child reach their goals and potential. It takes six to eight months. It's so worth it because it lasts a lifetime. If you found any of this information useful or helpful, please click the like button. Subscribe to our channel because we'll have more videos just like this into the future.